Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to share my number one tip to help you instantly improve at table tennis. Now, almost everything we do in table tennis requires a lot of practice, a lot of repetition to get really good at it. But the tip I'm going to share today will make a difference to your game straight away. Now, what will it be? More spin? More speed? Some crazy new serves? Mm. You gotta keep watching to find out. Where's a good position on the table to aim your shots? What do we think? How about here? Middle of the backhand side. Or here, middle of the forehand side. This seems a pretty good place, doesn't it? Because there's quite a big margin of error. If you don't quite land there, maybe it will land there. If you don't quite land there, maybe it will land there. So maybe there's less danger that the ball is going to go long off the end of the table or the side of the table. So here must be a pretty good place, right? No, wrong. It may be safe for you to play to these positions, but it's also much easier for your opponent to return the ball. Placing the ball here or here doesn't really put your opponent under any real pressure. Plus, the ball kind of bounces up quite nicely into your opponent's hitting zone. So these two positions on the table is probably the easiest place for your opponent to put you under pressure. So if placing the ball here and here is not so good, where should you be aiming your shots? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to put one bit of tape there, wide to the backhand. Let's move this bit of tape wide to the forehand. I'm going to take another bit of tape here, if I can get it off. And I'm going to put it into the middle here, and this represents a player's crossover, okay? Where else? Well, placing the ball wide off the side of the table. Another one. Wide to the backhand side. Um, and we can probably look at some placement a little bit closer to the net, especially when returning short serves. If we can keep the ball tight to the net. That can also make life difficult for our opponent. So what have we made here? Well, we've made a square shape, a box around the edge of the table. And when you start aiming your shots into these positions, playing towards the lines or keeping the ball tight if returning serves, it makes it significantly harder for your opponent to be able to return your shots.
Now, if you're playing somebody who doesn't move very well, and you start putting balls into the corner or wide off here, the players who don't move very well will start reaching for the balls. And in reaching for the balls, they'll either make mistakes, or even if they do get the ball back, it's not going to be a very good quality shot. Similarly, if you're putting the balls short and the player doesn't move very well, you're going to see them stretching forwards, reaching out. And again, either making mistakes or playing very weak shots. This ball here to the crossover, if a player doesn't move very well, you'll see them do this or do this. And again, once again, they're going to be making mistakes. Even if your opponent does move well and can move over here to play that shot or move over there to play that shot, by playing into the corners or off wide, what you're beginning to do is to create space on the table. I've moved over here to play my backhand. Now there's a lot more space to target your next shot over there. You've moved me out very wide for a ball out here, just about got to it, but now there's a great big space into the other corner. You've hit me in the crossover, so I've had to make space to play that shot. Once again, you've created space in a different part of the table. So the whole time when you're aiming for these different positions, you're exposing a player whose footwork is weak or for a player whose footwork is decent, you're creating space on the table, you're moving them around, you're making it much harder for them to play. You should be looking to do good ball placement with every shot that you play. So when you topspin, you're going for good ball placement. When you push, you're going for good ball placement. When you serve, you're going for good ball placement. When you return serves, you're going for good placement. Aim to get good placement with every ball that you play. Make it into a habit, something that you don't even think about, you just instinctively are playing towards the corners, the crossover, trying to get the ball towards the lines. Now, of course, it's not possible to get really good ball placement with every single ball that you play, but it's what you're aiming to do, it's what you're striving to do. And if you've got that in your mind, that you're going for good ball placement with every shot, then you're far more likely to be getting good placement with many, many more shots um, that you play. This will work for any player, any playing style, any standard. You could be an attacker, you could be a defender, you could just be starting out playing table tennis, you could have been playing for 20 years already. Okay, it works for everyone. 
yeah, maybe I exaggerate a little bit to say that it will be instantly make a difference to your game. You've clearly got to practice this as well. And when you aim for the lines to begin with, you may miss a few, send them long, send them off the end of the table. But you'd be surprised by how quickly you get accurate at putting the balls into different positions of the table if it's something that you're really focusing on. And I think that's the key point. If you really get into the mindset of being very good at ball placement, turn it into an automatic skill, then I promise you, you will win a lot more points. Thank you very much for watching. Please, please, please try this out and please do leave comments. Let me know how you got on. Um, I'll have lots more videos coming soon. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.